Western Florida bracing for a monster of a storm. Exact Track 4D radar tracking the path that Hurricane Idalia as the Category 2 storm heads for land. Thanks for being here with us. I'm Kimberly Gill. I'm Devin Skillian. Idalia gaining momentum. In fact, a Category 2 maybe just for a little while longer. Going to make landfall tomorrow morning along Florida's northwest coast. Right now, moving as a Category 2. By the time it makes landfall in the early morning hours, the bet is that it will then be a Category 3. Winds forecasted to reach up to 125 miles an hour. National Hurricane Center warning of life threatening record setting storm surges that could be up to 15 feet. Forewarned weather teams been tracking the storm throughout the night. Kim Adams joins us now with a look at the latest models. Kim. Well, the National Hurricane Center will put out its advisory any minute now. It's still not in yet, but that will determine whether or not Idalia is a two or a three. I suspect it's already a three. In fact, as I'm looking at the eye wall here, it's, there's a very distinctive eye wall now, and there's been some rebuilding of that eye wall, indicating that it is now strengthening. The outer bands are affecting Bradenton, Tampa, even down into Port Charlotte, which is where they got hit the hardest from Hurricane Ian back in September, uh, just under a year ago. So. We are looking for this to strengthen, become about a hurricane category three, and we're expecting it to go in somewhere around the Big Bend area. So here's Tallahassee, and here's where we're talking about right there. That's called the Big Bend, and unfortunately, they have never seen a hurricane this large, so they're not really sure what impact it's going to have, with the exception that they know it is going to be catastrophic for places like Cedar Key, only 10 feet above sea level. So winds are broad, the distinctive eye wall becoming more and more cohesive, more intensified as it moves closer to the coast. So we're still waiting on the update right now. The latest update has winds at 110 miles per hour, but within the next at least two to three hours, it will continue to strengthen perhaps as high as a category four. That's not out of the question. The good news is it's moving at a pretty decent forward speed. Uh, so the, the least amount of time it stays over water, that's the better because it won't strengthen off the, those warm waters. But regardless, this is going to be a historic major hurricane that is going to affect not only parts of Florida, but also parts of Georgia and the Carolinas as well. 